The acting anti-graft agency chairman, Mr. Ibrahim Magu, making his way into the Senate chamber. He's here for a second time in the hope of being confirmed as a chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. The door to the Senate chamber is shut as lawmakers in a closed-door meeting discuss whether to confirm Mr. Magu and four others as EFCC chairman and members of the Anti-Grafts Commission. Of the nomination of the chairman... But moments later, the Senate spokesman tells journalists the outcome of the executive session. The Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria wish to inform the general public that based on security reports available to the Senate, the Senate cannot proceed and confirm the nomination of Ibrahim Magu Mustafa as the executive chairman of EFCC. Accordingly, the Senate hereby reject the said nomination and has returned the said nomination to Mr. President for further action. Thank Sir, you, you don't want to make any reaction, please. The acting EFCC chairman was seen leaving the National Assembly complex. Uh, do you have anything to say concerning uh, the screen, Mr. Chairman, we're going together. Okay. The body language from the Senate has suggested that the confirmation of Mr. Magu is not as straightforward as it would seem, as the confirmation was postponed twice. With the Senate throwing back the nomination of Mr. Magu to President Buhari, it is not clear at this point what the President's action will be. Nevertheless, the Senate president went ahead to welcome and swear in three lawmakers from River State. Senators Magno Zabi, George Sekibo, and Osinaka Chuku Idozu emerged winners in a highly contested and violent senatorial election. Linda Kibi, Channels Television News.